and they have found like 175 mile an hour gust in the storm. Guys, we're under a fire weather warning and there is a fire up there. I don't know, where do we get- Guys, look, we found a baby squirrel in our pool. Good morning, you guys. Um, I am going to have an interesting week this week, so I thought I would vlog it. So, welcome back to the college diaries. Um, I was in a lot of pain over the weekend. I actually had to go to urgent care. Um, and it's probably, they said it's most likely a complication from my surgery, so yay. Um, but anyway, um, yesterday we did a little bit of storm prep because, um, we might be getting tropical storm conditions. It just really depends on how the Gulf storm goes. Um, and that'll be coming in around Thursday for Florida, so, um, yeah, that's why I'm also vlogging this week because I have exams that day, so we're gonna be driving around in it. Um, they're saying we're probably gonna get 40, 50 mile an hour winds and gusts, so I don't really know. But anyway, I am doing my last math lessons of this year, and then I think next week or the week after that, I have exams for two of my classes they were only eight week classes so that's good um so i don't have to take all my exams at once but that's just how this week is going to go so yeah let's get started It is the next day. It is a cool and crisp morning. It's like 60 degrees, which feels amazing. Um, but we're gonna try and go to the school right now. I'm sorry, you can hear the motorcycle behind me. I'm trying to talk. Lawnmower. Yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to talk over it. Um, I really need help on my math lesson. It's like three variable linear equations, and for the life of me, I cannot figure it out. I've tried every like math help site. I just, I can't get it. I just can't get it guys. So we're gonna try to go up to school today. That's what I'm wearing. And we might have to come back in the afternoon because we might not be there, so. Hi guys, I just woke up. It is Wednesday. Um, I didn't film much uh, Tuesday because I had a lot to do. You guys, I was literally at the college for like three hours uh, trying to learn my math for my exam tomorrow. But anyway, I just woke up and the hurricane is almost a category five. That's really scary for Florida. I do have family like where it's going to be like almost a direct impact like Fort Myers area. So that's a little nerve wracking. One of them is a firefighter. So uh, just hoping they're all safe. And I mean, guys, it's basically a category five. It's like two miles an hour away. And the eye is like getting more circular. And I think it's slowing down, which it could probably intensify more if it slows down, but I don't know. So I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of my work on this one today. And then on my laptop, I'll probably be watching all the storm chasers, chase the hurricane. I know Hassan, if you know on Twitch Hassan, he um, kind of covers it, but I usually watch like Reed Timmer for my hurricanes and stuff. So 
I'm actually really glad that we did not get this one because it intensified really fast. It was only like 140 at like 1 a.m. and by 5 a.m. it went up that fast. So this one was definitely a rapid intensifier, but yeah, hopefully Florida makes a recovery fast and so does Cuba. Okay, you guys, so I'm doing my notes right now and I'm watching these guys on YouTube and then I have the Weather Channel. Um... The water at Port Charlotte <clears throat> is receding back like there would be a tsunami. And that's because they're expecting 18 foot storm surge. And that is unsurvivable. So I really hope people got out, you know, that their evacua evacuations. And I do have family in Fort Myers. So I know some of them stayed behind. So I'm just hoping that they're gonna be okay. Um, because one of them's actually pregnant, so hopefully she got out of Fort Myers and went north, but I don't know. But anyway, yeah. We just had a wind, guys, and it literally shook my walls. Like, even though, like, the hurricane is, like, it's, like, South Florida, like, we're still getting a lot of winds from the high pressure coming down and the hurricane, so it's creating a lot of winds. But it's very cold outside. It's, like, 55 degrees, which feels so good because it finally starts to feel like fall, but you know what? Next week, it'll probably be in the 80s again, so... Guys, this is Reed Timmer's stream. Look at how bad the winds are right now. They just got an extreme wind warning and they have found like 175 mile an hour gust in the storm, which is absolutely insane. Kind of reminds me of Ida and Michael a little bit, but that is crazy. very windy out here um, because of that high pressure and because of the end. But yeah, we're fixing to head to the college right now, so bye. Crap. Guys, we're under a fire weather warning and there the is a house? fire up there. I don't know, where do we get, can we get over there? Unless you go down, um... Turn the fire, turn the scanner on. That's really you, you, bad. Guys, look! That's, cause the that's our street we turn on. Yes. Garage? I don't know. That's where it started, it's in the garage. Guys, look, we found a baby squirrel in our pool and he has hypothermia. He's shaking. Hi, bye. Leave in the comments what we should name him. We can't keep him, but. It's okay, buddy. Hi, bud. What do squirrels eat? Maybe he's hungry. So it is a very cold 52 degrees this morning. Um, I did find a little baby squirrel last night in our pool. I think I explained it a little bit. Um, so basically, we put him in a towel and we like wrapped him up in our little sweatshirts that we had on. And then we called um, wildlife like rescue. And they said they were going to come get him, and then we took him outside to show him to our neighbor because he knows a lot about wildlife like that. And as we were going to go back inside, he jumped out of Lexi's arms and like tried to scratch her. And he did. He took a chunk out of her finger. Um, and we might have to go get her a rabies shot just to make sure, but... Right now, she's pretty fine, so... Anyway, I am heading up to the school because if you 
<laughs> so the previous days I was up there studying because I have two exams today and then after today those will be like my last like test test and then I have my final exams for those classes so hopefully I will do good uh, I'm wearing this purple sweater today it's very comfy and yeah I'm about to head to school so let's go Hey guys, so I did really well on that first exam. I made 19 out of 20. And then the one that I got wrong, I'm pretty sure the website got it wrong, but it's okay. But anyway, I'm heading back to the car to study and then I'll be in there for my math test. Hey guys, so it is Friday. I'm here sitting at my computer again. What's new? I have a lot of work to get done because I spent half the week studying, so. Um, I have five assignments, I have two discussion boards, an essay, and a test, and I have that to get done by, um, probably Saturday, and it's Friday. So anyway, um, I am not feeling the best this morning, I have my pumpkin spice hot chocolate back there, I don't know if you can see it, but, and I'm watching Hurricane Ian hit for the second time this week. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put links in the descriptions of the places that got affected. If you can donate, anything helps. You don't have to feel pressured, but if you can, that would be great. But anyway, I'm gonna get back on my work now. It is Saturday. As you saw, I was doing my essay. I finished it with 539 words. Yep, that's what I'm wearing today. Sweater vest with some jeans. Oh, Lexi. Hi. And we are going to Hobby Lobby to get Lexi some bamboo paint and brushes. And Michaels? Mm -hmm. That's <gasps> why I have my newsprint. Maybe we can go to Target because I heard they have Christmas stuff. No, we ain't going to Target. I got too much on work to. You know? Anyway. Uh, when we get back, we're probably going to decorate the tree for Halloween. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, guys. So we are in Hobby Lobby right now. There's so many people in here. So kind of getting used to vlogging in public. Uh, we are going to try to decorate the yard today. I don't know how that's going to go. And I can't find Lexi. Um, we came here to pick up Lexi some, um, newspaper print for her art class. But I went to go look at fairy lights and they've disappeared. So, I'm gonna have to call them. Guys, that little truck is so cute.
feel like I see these signs everywhere. I feel like that's the only thing I like over here. Aren't they? 